Yeah, welcome back to Disco Elysium. I'm I'm feeling a little disco. How about you? I'm feeling mighty disco. That's good. That's good, man. You feel disco? I'm happy for you. Right. Uh, so, uh, I had a little something I want to drop on you when we got in here. Yes. Yes, he did. I've been. I may have been taking a peek at a little JoJo Part Six uh, anime, just a little bit, right? Ooh, yes. Uh, I can't confirm. Kira Buckland has, in fact, been cast as JoJo uh, Part Six as Jolene. I did see that. That makes me so happy. She does a good job. I don't know about the rest of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about Hermes. Hmm. Like, they've tweaked some dialogue so that way she's Hispanic, which, sure, makes sense. I'm, I'm done with that. I don't know if I would have given her that deep of a voice. Hmm. Um, since I only dabbled in part uh, the first episode, I don't know what FF sounds like. Okay. Um... I also saw, and I'm going to have to send this to you later... There's a couple of little mini videos that a guy that I subscribed to has posted, which is just JoJo Part 6, but it's Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Where, like, he's blended in the Scooby-Doo sound effects. And there's even the point where, like, they're hiding in the random coat that's just draped on the side, right? As, yeah. like, uh, uh, the dude that, like, walks on his t fingers and toes runs by. And as they're looking out, you see Shaggy and Scooby look out with them. <laughs> Just, I'm like, what is, this? what is this? What is this? This is great. I love it. Okay, um, I know we're going to talk to the tent man, but after that, I think I'm going to start looking for my gun. You might want to try readjusting your mic. You're getting a little robot-y sounding. How about now? You sound a little further away. Uh, now? Talk a minute. One, two, one, two. That sounds all right. Let me just tweak the volume from the uh, Discord for a second, and it should be fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm going to have to cut your audio viewing, I think. Unless I can... Nope, nope, I can do it this way. Cool. Yay, technical problems. Eh, it's fine. I mean, last time you were super silent for some reason, and you couldn't fix it no matter what happened, so I just adjusted the volume here anyway. Mm. Alright, we're good. Okay. Alright, Tent Man. The tent is just tarpaulin fabric covering a pile of stuff. The flap is open. Inside, three young men are listening to some new form of music. It's like nothing you've ever heard. One of them looks at you. Come on, get in and close the flap behind you. The warm stuff's getting out. Uh, s squeeze in. I'm going to say, wait a second. Okay. Because we still don't have a cat equipped after we gave it to, uh... Uh, his name's not a net. It starts with an A, though. I'm blanking on it. Yeah. So let's equip our Dick Mullen hat. That way we have that on. Yes. Actually, that's encyclopedia. Do we want logic instead? I think we have a... Or a perception. Perception. Yeah. Why? Do you know what these guys want from us? I'm leaning toward there being a perception in here. I'm fairly certain. What was her name? Okay. Her bother me if I don't know. Hello again. A cell. Okay, that was her name. Alright, now let's squeeze in. Come on. Get in! Sorry, we barely have room for one. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm actually <laughs> not, he thinks. I just dislike delinquents. <gasps> <gasps> Do they have pompadours? Mm. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. He gestures for you to he gestures for you to squeeze in. In we go. Is this like the TARDIS? Will... I was about to say, will it be a whole lot bigger on the inside? And it kind of is. 
little bit. All right, what do we got here? Smells like sweat and laundry detergent, plus a trace of ether. Canister's filled with what appears to be water. The labels say distilled. The speakers, or a speaker, the big kind they use for live music. A pile of nasal sprays, brand name Nosafed Ultra. I like this song. All right, who do we want to who do we want to talk to first? We got Mr. Uh, Rocker, we got Head Bobber, and we got Leany over here. Head Bobber. You see a youngish man bleaching the tips of his hair with a toothbrush. He puts the toothbrush down and extends his hand in greeting. Hello, I'm Andre. It's a pleasure to meet you. Shake his hand. His grip is strong, sweaty, and warm. He's trying to project and inspire confidence. And failing. This is my posse, Noid. The young man with earrings looks at you suspiciously. And he has a pizza. <laughs> he says it's been delivered in 30 minutes. <laughs> Egg. Egg. The tape player high above his head continues to blast what is probably anodic music. Together with a little burger, who's out there right now, doing some seriously progressive sonic experimentation, we like to think of ourselves as music venue organizers. Uh, uh, wait, how many music venues have you organized? We have many in the pipeline, officer. That means they haven't set up a single one yet. <gasps> uh, you tell. Why are you here? You see, we've been all over Jamrock North, prospecting for real estate to establish a new venue in. Honest off for talent. Yeah, thank you, Egghead. And while there is no shortage of raw, unfettered talent spinning tapes in Jamrock, we've had rotten luck with the real estate car. Place is a shithole. I, I apologize for my friend Noid's potty mouth. I realize this is not how you speak to a police officer. I he has authority issues. There's no need. This place is pretty bad. Which brings me to the problem of occupied ecclesiastical property. I bet you've noticed the derelict hive of Narcomania on the coast. Oh, uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the church, and I'm not exaggerating. Even a place of spiritual refuge can become a magnet for all sorts of dopeheads and burnouts if left unattended. Dopeheads! Burnouts! He angrily spits on a screw, then starts cleaning it. Well, I'm sad to say, that's exactly what happened. Sad because we were just about to put Martin A's on the map with one of the maddest dance clubs in Jamrock. Nah, strike that in Revershol. Strike that, the road. And sadder yet, because the dope heads and the time stopped. The worst kind. <laughs> what do you mean time stopped? The world. Oh, that I. T <laughs> it just completely went over my head. It's true. Be because when, when will time resume? Because he paused like that, the world. <laughs> Don't and his, just his inflection. Egghead is secretly Dio. <laughs> just his inflection is insane, the world, and I'm just like JoJo. It doesn't help that we just started talking about JoJo when we got in here. <laughs> uh, I thought you like froze or something for a second. Serious game. Letting you imagine just how bad those dope heads and burners really are. Good. This calls for an opinion. You're an expert in those. <gasps> Our opinion. Uh, kind. The spooky kind. <gasps> spooky. What do you mean by spooky? I think clearly that means that we need to go get a talking dog. Put Kim in a ascot, and we'll go grab a green shirt, because we already have the pants to work with this. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> I mean, we would totally be shaggy. <laughs> Harry here would totally be a shaggy, especially if he started doing the drugs. <sighs> So what do you mean by spooky? 
I was hoping you would be the judge of that, officer. All I can say is, their spookiness is the kind that keeps us from restoring this church into a community center and a place of spiritual refuge. Also, they don't eat or clean the building. Shit's gonna collapse. People just wanna spin tapes without them spooking it up. Place has bad signs. No one can dance like that. Thank you, Egghead. So you're gonna look into it, right? It should be a police matter. Getting them out. Whatever spooky stuff they're doing, I'm sure it's not what the Ecclesiastes meant their property for. I'll look into it. Tell me more. All right, man. He claps his hand enthusiastically. Andre is obviously very happy you took him seriously. The whole tent is. The boys I want you. Giddy looks. I want to ask you about this tent full of equipment. Yes. What? Uh, I see you brought your own water. Yeah, yeah. Good to have. Bitch to carry. When I first scattered the place, I did some reconnaissance. I'm not sure the church even has running water. And it's distilled too. Uh, oh. He doesn't know what to say to that. It's the one they sell at the fuel station. What's with all the nose of pad? The what now? He leans in to hear you better. The Nosepad Ultra! You have a lot lying around! Oh! The old Ultra! We... Um, I have a major sinus infection. Stuffy nose. We all do. Shit's all blasted up. Winter. Can't even breathe. Oh! Okay. I guess that makes sense. Tell me about another thing. I don't know. It makes me feel like these guys might be druggers, if you're, uh, if you ask me. Maybe we should question a little bit more. Okay, okay, fine. Question them. Yes, that's all Nosefed's doing. Without the Noser, I'd be drowning in shit right now. Nosefed is the shit. Oh, I get some. Uh, <laughs> if I recall, good. that's just a health piece. Good, on to the next thing. Aw, oh, you won't give us any, Dad. Yes. Uh, I, I have to tell you, but it reeks of sweat in here. It does, doesn't it? Told you we have a smell problem. Picks up a piece of telephone cord and inspects it. Uh... It's mixed with a peculiar chemical scent, like laundry detergent. He sniffs the air, then shrugs. A shrug is good enough for us. Oh my Why god. Why say it when you can shrug it? I guess that uh, means that we won't be able to interrogate them on the potential drugginess. Alright, enough of this. He nods enthusiastically. Oh, or no maybe we do. Relieved. We're gonna have to put on some logic shit, though. Uh, what's the status of the church? I haven't gotten inside the building yet. I asked Noid to install a measure against more drifters wandering in. A padlock. It's a temporary fix. Just something to contain the situation. I had to do it in an hurry. Not my best work, but it should hold for a while. Oh, uh, the key. Of course. Noid, give the officer the key. All right. Ooh. Uh, he speed the speed freak dips into his belt pack and produces a yellow key. He then makes a sudden cool infused mo move, tossing it in your general direction. Uh, we, there's only one choice. Chance. Yep. Oh, we got, there's only one choice? We got to? Well, um, we can let it fall to the ground and pick it up like a normal adult person. I mean, we could, but I mean, why not be cool? Yeah. And fail. <laughs> yeah. Hey! <laughs> ...into a piece of metal and plastic. The object makes a small Catch it. sound as it approaches. Just the tiniest chime to your left. Ka-ching! The key hits your palm. The speed freaks nod to you approvingly. Bask in the glory! The young man with ribcage-shaped suspenders looks at you, standing there, with a goofy grin on your yeah. face. The word august oh, is nice. as an adjective. That's how cool it feels to be old and cool in the eyes of the young. Let's face it. You're near death, yet bathed in the golden rays of stately grandeur. 
Like a late summer's day. Like a daddy o Like a tequila sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right! <laughs> Is that what we want to do? Uh, uh, <laughs> Damn right, I'm tequila sunset! Arriba! Of course you are. It's too late to be a tequila sunrise now. There will be no sunrise. Not for you. Oh, that's dark. Alright! Other questions! Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do it. Uh, about the church door. Mm-hmm. Uh... Oh wait, never mind. We already did that one. Um, well, not this, but you. you kind okay, of how many that. people have been locked in there? Not long, like a week maybe. He shrugs. Uh, how can you be sure they haven't starved to death? I'm super sure they're alive. I mean, come on. I'm at least ninety percent, maybe eighty-five percent <laughs> sure they're still alive. Oh my god. Uh, eighty-five is not good enough with another person's physical well-being. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I guess it wasn't very hardcore of us to just lock them in like that. Me too. I shouldn't have that kind of power over another person. I'm not the one with the violence monopoly here. Ooh. You are. I'm glad that key is out of my hands now. Oof. Uh, right. Other questions? Sure, man. Tell us what you want to know. Let's do uh, it. Uh, you mentioned some kind of... Ecclesiastes in own the church. Who are these Ecclesiastes? Oh yeah, that's a meteor and name for the founding party. Thought it'd be cool to use it. If you don't know what the founding party is, there might be a way to mask it with minor demagoguery. Oh, the founding party. I do know them, but can you refresh my memory? Come to think of it, I've never really looked them up, you know. I can't give you a precise definition, but they're a very powerful religious organization. Do they want to become as gods? <laughs> I mean, with all these drugs here, it wouldn't surprise me if they already are trying that. And? And they have roots in ancient mass society. And they're the custodians of the Periconassian church. Plus, they anoint the innocents. They, like, made the innocentic system, no? They, they sound like exactly the type of people who would want loud and dynamic music in their church. You're right, they do. He says without the slightest hint of irony. The Periconassian church is about love. Anodic music is about love. I got love for my Periconassian posse. Love is the relay out of death! We dance! He sh finally shakes the tape player as if to see if he can break it. Love is hardcore! Unity! Unity! Make some noise for my Insulindian posse! He turns the volume up, then looks at you with a knowing nod, as if it's obvious you will now break into dance. <laughs> the animals oh. and the cathodes coursing through you. Your big toe starts tapping along to the bass. As if testing the waters. Uh, no words. Enjoy the beat. Feels good. <laughs> You're right. How could the family party be anything but enthusiastic? Dance music is about love. And so is the Paracamesian Church. Yeah! Yakokata! The place to be! He seems ecstatic that you share his vision of Pericarnesianism. Do it for the masses. Do it for the crew. His friend forms a fist with a screwdriver still in his hand. Approvingly so. I didn't want to say it, but it was pretty lame of you to imply otherwise. Anyway, have you got more questions? The one with the large head is still looking at you. Nodding his head, waiting for your body to start moving. You feel like you could go for a little disco when, or if, they get this club going. You've got it in you. Uh, 
I'm guessing godly is like 3% pass. Uh, right, now we need to make a 16, um, but we have stuff that can boost that. Okay, so sure that's all for now. Alright. As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah! Cool. Let me just go change while, you're, while I'm sitting in here. Alright, let's see here, because I think we have a minus one in logic from something. The sunglasses. Alright, what else we got? There's a logic. There's a logic. There's another one. Okay. We are getting Ooh, double logic. Ooh. All right. Well, that's a plus five to logic right there that we got going. Woo! Hi again. So, uh, forty-two percent. And it's a white check. They can re retried. Oh. Okay. Try. Okay. No. So the speed freaks want to start a club for dance music. That much checks out. Yous like music. You feel as though you might have liked music more when you were young, too. But you digress. Mm-hmm. What's the gist of it? The gist of it is they want to turn the church into a club. But a suspicious element has overtaken the building. It's very important to understand what the gist of things is. Always consult the gist before making up your mind. <laughs> this is going well. Plus, <laughs> and it has to be considered, you can't invent the future of dance music in this smelly old tent. Imagine if you had the church. That settles it. Analysis complete. Their story checks out. I don't know. This check that's here is still telling me that's not checking out. Right. So that's it for now. Oh, we're not going to question who they are? Oh, um, we already did that. Uh, no, we didn't. Okay, so who exactly are the people inside the church? The truth is, I don't really know. None of us do. I don't even know how many there are. All we've seen are glimpses. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I must have been confusing it with the other question. Yeah, because once we finished up all the stuff in there, it disappeared. Okay, yeah. Um, You haven't even seen them, and you want the police involved? Well, there's also the machinery. But this machinery is of the deeply mystical variety. <gasps> yes! Inland knows what it's got, man. When I first scouted the place, back in February, it was abandoned. Empty. Took some time getting the crew together. So about two weeks ago, we came here hoping to set the stuff up. Suddenly, there are all these strange machines lying around in there. One of them has wires running into bowls of water. Wires into water. Never seen anything like it. Andre, tell him about the feeling. Oh, and it felt like there was something in there with us, watching us from the dark. No, the other one. Um, which other one? I'm not as in tune with my emotions as you are, Egg. Felt like silence. Awful silence. Uh, uh, but you haven't physically seen anyone? Not exactly. We've just seen someone who we think is a woman go in and out of the church. A couple of times. And we felt someone, or something, eyeing us inside. But that's kinda it. What, what? What was that? Which one? Okay, what was that about something watching you? Like you aren't alone, you know? It wasn't quite human, if you know what I mean. Not human, as in a ghost. Do you know what he means? It was this dark shape climbing upside down along the ceiling, like some kind of crab man. A crab man? Yeah, you know, the way it was climbing up and around the ceiling, like a crab, 
It was stalking herself, exhibiting ambush behavior. Ambush behavior. Crab man. <laughs> Crab man. <laughs> Crab people. Boom. Boom. Can we can we mix that with like the '90s Spider-Man cartoon show theme? <laughs> Or was that the 80s? The radioactive Spider-Man one. Yeah, totally. I actually I mean, think they may have been the 70s. It, a wow, it was alone that time. But I believe her. Later than that. If she comes out running and says there's a crab in there, there's a crab in there. You should ask her about it. Would be nice. Don't tell her you don't believe in your crab. There probably is no crab man. Don't let them draw you in with this nonsense. Oh Logic, God. where were you before? Oh my god, 1967. Oh wow, that's really old. Yeah, there, there were 90s Spider-Man cartoon, and possibly one in between then, but the Spider-Man song comes from the 60s. Damn. Uh, can you tell me more about this machinery? Yeah, that song does not sound like something out of the 60s. You should talk to Noid about that. I just got a distinct burnout and dope head sign from them. Probably jacked up to some snuff station too. Probably very likely. With a small surge of PEA, alertness fills you. As if to say, this is a dark corner. Look behind it. Jack up to some snuff station? It means like one of those rich boy private radio stations. Where you can listen to people getting killed on and jerk off to it. Sick shit. <laughs> wow. Not that we would know anything about that. Noid just likes to relay stuff. We're getting derailed here. In short, you can tell to Noid about the machines. He'll tell you more. Uh. So, how can I be sure they're burning dope heads if you haven't seen them? Well, honestly, I can't. But I am. This is a below feeble attempt at avoidance. Basically, he is attempting to weaponize idiocy. I don't see a single thing with that wrong with that argument. <laughs> I'm 70% sure they're substance users. Don't let the technology fool you. Alright, let's talk to Noid. Sure. What? As always, we'll be right here, waiting patiently for the news. Yeah! Noid! So you had a talk with Andre, and now you want to discuss things with Noid. Good. Skin shows through the holes in the Speed Freak's too large sweater. In front of him, an open toolbox full of carpentry tools and parts. It's good you talked to Andre first. Gave me time to get a reading on your sign. Can't really talk to people before you get a reading. He runs a hair in through his uh, through his hair, which is combed back in a mock in mock seriousness, and continues to fiddle with some gears. So, why are you called Noid? The hardcore aesthetic is esoteric. It's not meant to be discussed with the law at this moment. Picks up some sort of widget. It's not easy to reach a harmonic resonance of signs without some adjustment. Uh, does that mean we need sign matching? Yes. Further sign matching would do good for us. One way to achieve this would be by getting us into the church. Tell me more about the machines you saw in the church. Weird stuff. Specialized. There was a data processor and some sort of long wave machinery. Wires going into water. Gives off a spy sign. Or some fucked up Samaran science sign. You know, the kind that goes head first into the supernatural. What's wrong with these supernatural? Nothing's wrong with it. You should definitely be researched. You can still do sick shit with it, though. The sickest. That's perhaps why it should be researched. The supernatural. The super. I keep wanting to say super. <laughs> That's the, the point. It's to the fuck supernatural. I'm not. I'm, what? It's, it's there to fuck you up. It's totally uh. the in inclination for it. The supernatural. So you think it's real? That it actually exists? Most of it doesn't exist. But there's also stuff that isn't allowed to exist. 
because the moralists think it's too dangerous for the plebs. Psionic powers, pale related diseases, pretenders pretending to be human, folk rights, that kind of stuff. Sign? Yeah, gotta compare. See if we can align. That's interesting. I suck at socializing, man. Even now, our sign synchronization is way off. But I'll see what I can do. He continues to rearrange his tools. Okay, maybe I'll come back later. And hey. an A head. A young man with peroxide blonde hair holds up a Harmon Walshie tape player, nodding along to the music. He looks at you with a knowing smile, and as though you're supposed to be sharing some tremendous evangelical secrets. <gasps> Hardcore! Is it? It's hardcore! Uh. uh I don't know what to say to that! Skibber D, Skibber Danger. I am the rearranger. Could there have been a right way out of this garden? <laughs> so I'll tell you this right now. Like. You kind of need to get through Egghead's conversation, I guess. Like, there is a certain order of, of things to pick, and it will get you through that. Oh! I don't remember exactly what it is, but it is there is an order and a choice that will get you to an actual conclusion. Otherwise, it'll just boot you out of the conversation. Um, uh, let, 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 let's kill it! The young man with the tape recorder acknowledges your return. When he looks at you, he squints as though you were the setting sun. This is hardcore. Uh, is it? It's hardcore! You're just going to keep saying this hardcore, aren't you? Skibber D, Skibber Danger. Uh oh. Alright, so saying is it at the start just ends it. Back to the heavyweight jam. Says the young man with the tape player and the large boyadero boots. Lung shaped trees sprout on his silver belt buckle. Hardcore! <laughs> Say nothing. Hardcore! Um. I. S <laughs> still say nothing. Say nothing. Internally coherent. Uh, still say nothing. All car, all right, yeah. Say nothing. He furrows his brow as his very large head traces the sublime, invisible movement of the music in the very real air of the stuffy tent. He lets out an agonized roar over the fetalish, obviously not too hardcore beat below. Uh, no hardcore! Is it though? He stops dead in his tracks, tilting his head to the side. Ooh. Um, crap. Um, it is! But is it? I mean, really. He tilts his head to the other side like an owl. Feels like you should reply with the very pinnacle of idiocy here. So that things get totally transcendent. But you haven't gotten there yet. So uh, I don't I, know what to say. I don't exactly know what to say. Under the radar, over the top. The cloud, true, hard, full of car. Do, do you think we were getting closer? We got a hint, but I think we need to like go through more of the branches to find like a certain answer and then go back to what we just did. Uh, wait, wait, how about, how about just still say nothing? Hardcore to the mega. Say nothing? Internally coherent. Uh, uh, nothing? All car, all right. Nothing? Yeah. He furrows his breath. Hardcore. Uh, ah. No, seriously, I'm a little worried it isn't. The question is, what is the question? Uh, 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 that would have been good if I didn't ask you a question, 
but I didn't. N now it's just idiotic. But there was a question? Then maybe that was it? Because it said something that was the height of idiocy. True, hard, full, car. Hard car. So let's hard car try to get internally that. Internally coherent. All car, all right. He furrows his... Hard car. Uh, so it's hardcore. Um... Let's try to get back to where uh, it, we were the first time okay, that we got it. Okay, it is. What is it? I mean, really. Uh, is, this is it. This is it, I think. The question. What is the question? No, but seriously. I'm a bit worried it isn't. He frowns and starts bobbing his head back and forth once more. The skin on your back is crawling. For a second, you can't even hear the music anymore. There is a hawthorn tree on Rue de Sanji's Lane, right next to the canal. Don't be alarmed. Everything is okay. He isn't actually worried. Everything is still super hardcore. What he probably means is, it could be even more so. <gasps> Are you a thought eater? No nation, but trans nation. No war, but class war. Uh, does that mean you're a thought eater? Don't be a lunatic. Of course he is. Jermania just yells random things. Odds are, sooner or later one of them will come off his fault reading. Yeah! Revachon Imperative! Unless you were thinking Revachon Imperative right now. Anyway, I've had a similar thing happen with eggs yelling. I know what you mean. Uh, you're right. I wasn't thinking that. I don't know, we are a superstar cop, though. Uh, tell me something else, Egghead. Yeah! Uh, why are there lungs on your belt buckle? Lungs are for love! Good to know! Yeah! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love Egghead. Yeah. I am liking him more and more. <laughs> Um, you said you were worried. What do you think is wrong with the music? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. He turns a pensive all of a sudden. Sometimes I just feel like anodic music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last month, and will continue pumping for the rest of 51. <laughs> Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? He thinks for a moment, then his expression clears. It's like it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right. It's not hyper hardcore. Uh, it is hyper hardcore. We can all hear it's not hyper hardcore. If figures of authority keep telling us things are hyper when they're clearly not, how are we ever supposed to evolve to hyper them? Um. Uh, okay, I've changed my mind. Uh-huh. The man raises the tape player high in anticipation. It's super hardcore! Fuck yeah, I knew it! He seems sure, but you are left with the nagging doubt. You might have overestimated the hard corners of that jam. Mm. Uh, hey, Egghead, is your real name Jermaine? Basically, yes, it is. Alright, goodbye, Egghead. I want to see something. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it. What? Isn't something, it's like it's, I, I think, think it's super hardcore. But you're right. If we it's choose this one, we get a okay. quest. It is, isn't it? I knew it. But how could it become harder core? I know the answer in my heart, but cannot sink it in my head. If this is not hyper, how could anything be? Uh, uh try to think of some. Try to think of anything that can make it harder core? What? Guys, there's something happening in his head. As your mind works, the beat recedes from your ears. You hear your own blood pulsing through your head. Nourishing think your even thoughts with oxygen. The river. Think even harder. But you're not. This is almost certainly a matter that surpasses the limits of reason. 
feel the movement of blood through your head. The abstract shapes swelling in the foreground have done so in vain. This is a core matter. The answer in the double kick that moves the milliliters through your mind. The dark thud is the source of all rhythm. The inspiration behind mathematics. The hardcore. My imagination fails me. I know! So does mine! He laughs and shakes his head. Oh! But there's something else that hasn't failed you. Ooh. Uh. Sounds suspiciously like a question. I thought the question was, what's the question? No! This is the answer! Uh. Wait, I just remembered! I'm the police! Uh-huh. Uh... Nothing. Me with being the police isn't going to help us. Oh. Hmm. Uh... I can't, I can't help you with this right now. I need to think of something else. Something extra. Yeah! There it is. Ooh! 83. Okay, let's do that. Do we want to check to make sure that we don't have anything else? Sure. Because I think we physical have, instrument. We have a shirt for sure. Physical instrument. And that's perception. Have a fact. Nope. Nope. That's the yeah. That's the thing. Nope. Nope. That one. Hey. Actually, wait, we just replaced the shirt that had it. No, no, with the shirt that had it. Yeah, it's the same. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't any different. Nope, alright. It was only the one. Okay. Still one better than what we had. The launch headed. Good morning! 92! Yeah. Woohoo! And we rolled double ones. <laughs> You want to read that? Okay, um... Physical instrument. Challenge in 12. Maybe your body can tell you what Arno Von Alex, Alex Jam is missing. Try to make it hardcore. You know it in your lungs where the pressure should vibrate. In your heart that's alone. And in your solar plexus where the hits should land. So does every corday animal. Needs more fish. <laughs> what? The young man makes a sudden move like he's about to turn the volume down. But that would be ridiculous. And a, and a melody. Good melody. It would make the song really stick to the point you can't get it out of your head anymore. Wow, okay. We should stop with the melody. Where would we get that stuff from? I don't know. I was thinking you would know. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about anodic music. I'm just the party boy. I get the people going and say it's hardcore. He feels ashamed. He can't be of more service to the future. Oh, no. Dance music. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can come up with something on my own. A citizen investigation. The young man falls silent with appreciation. He even tries to contain his smile, as if it could hinder your investigation. Basically, what you need to find here is a tape with some banging music on it, so that Egghead could use it to remix Van Egg's jam. Yeah, maybe that street talker across the pawn shop has got some tapes to sell. That's just an idea. There is a hawthorn tree on Rue de Songe's lane, right next to the canal. A reel of magnetic tape is caught in its branches, like bronze ribbons blowing in the wind. Rue de Saint Gustelin. I've been there. Where? Oh, I know! I know this! I can tell you where it is! Saint G is the boulevard before the canal bridge. The one that takes you to the whirling in rats in the industrial harbor. It's got the lanterns and the... I knew that! I could have said that! 
and the mosaic cycle. But it's all blocked with that stupid traffic jam right now. Anyway. It feels cold. Does it? Looks around, looking for the cold. Shake it off. Anyway, that's all yours to figure out, Copman. Copman! <laughs> hey, I have a tape with me. Maybe you could use it to improve the jam. I do this banging mega mix. Right. Snatches the tape out of your hand and attaches it to the empty slot reel. One hand on his headphones and he listens to the audio. Then, shaking his head, says, "No, no, no! This is gonna make people scared. <laughs> Keep it positive. Keep the love in the house." All right. Well, that one doesn't work. All right. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Goodbye, Egghead. Well, <laughs> that's all we can do in here for now. Okay, so on the next episode of Disco Elysium, um, where do we go? Do we go check out this church, or uh, do we go back to like Gart and shit? Maybe we'll see what Gart has to say. Maybe we can find our gun, and then we'll help other people. I don't know if we'll find our gun. We we we'll find our gun. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully.